25 to $30,000 to put solar panels on your roof. That is a lot of money up front and a big reason you don't see panels popping up like weeds all across the country. But here's my list of reasons why solar is no longer for the eco elite anymore. Solar panels in the White House, I think, are, are a really important message. If the people's house has solar panels on the roof, why shouldn't the houses of everyday people? At number one on my list, the government plans to help them get solar by making half a billion dollars available to low and middle income folks from now through 2020. Call your rep in Congress to see when you might qualify for the money. Now, the second reason solar is getting cheaper, the tech is getting way better. Each module gets the benefit of individual maximum power point tracking. Solar tech is getting smaller and more efficient, which means you need fewer panels to make more power. And these days, the solar systems track data to show you how much power you're making and how much money you're saving. Anywhere from 50 to 300 bucks a month. So how much will a solar install cost? Well, that's number three on my list. Pay no money up front. Solar companies will install the system for free and lease it to you for a monthly fee that doesn't change, no matter how much power you use. Fees vary widely by company, but many consumers say their lease payment is lower than their typical energy bill. And when the lease is up, you can cancel it or upgrade to a new, more advanced system. If you choose to buy a system, remember, you'll pay about twenty-five to $30,000. But Uncle Sam will kick in a 30% tax deduction. On top of that, companies usually throw in a 10% to 20% rebate as well, which means you could save up to 50% off the cost of solar panels. More information about solar on our website, thelisttv.com.